Hello audience, today I'm playing Slay the Spire, but whatever I die to, I have to draw it. This was an idea I had originally a few months ago maybe, with another game. I think I'm going to pick... let's pick... let's go Defect. Okay, Ascension. Elite Spawn. Okay, that's cool. More relics, I guess, maybe? From what I remember. Okay. What, what, what's that? I'm sorry, what? Channel 1 lightning, lightning 1 for us from that. Oh! Oh, but it's an exhaust. Ah. Uh, that's just some exhaust build compatibility that I'm missing. I'm not too sure about that one. Just get rid of you. Nice, got some damage on there. Okay, let strike. No need for defense for now. I mean, I guess I do this. Yeah, whoa. You can have like, a special animation. Cure next orb. Channel the orb, but it's just. I mean, that's good. Three damage. Buy one bone. Hmm. That doesn't cost anything. And maybe I should have picked the recursion. Okay. Base materials for reasons we can cover now. Yep. Hmm. That's a thing. Do I? I mean, I probably want to remove a strike from my card. It's not good for defect too much. Really, I don't think there's any build potential strikes unless there is some. Is this with that? I guess I somehow got the ironclad like, perfected strike, but. Actually. That one was. Let's see, see what happens first. Okay. I'm trying to get some damage. Okay. Damn it, I can't kill any of them. Wait. I spoke too soon, never mind. Okay. Nice. I mean, that's just there, isn't it? I remember liking that card. Liking this card. Ooh. I'm gonna go for God, I don't remember what the build mentality for, for uh, defect is. I want to kill this guy because he's just gonna get stronger and stronger. Just with each turn that passes by. Um, okay. Oh, wait. Aha! Nice. That's good. I mean, yeah. Oh. Mm, I can remove this out of the deck. It's fine. Bomb. Open him. Oh no, wait. Mm. Oh no, wait a minute. That's bad, I guess. Wait, that was good, actually. Okay. Never into a shop, heal 15 HP. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, uh, probably 12 back. Yeah, yeah, I'll get that. Um. Screw it. Ah, screw it. Oh no. 
Oh, wait a minute. Ah. No, oh, they're gonna keep on doing that. Okay, I weaken you. Okay, now you're dead. And now you should be dead next time. Yep. Okay, it wasn't as bad. One form of attack. Okay, that's cool. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I like I like some dark. Yes. Um, we don't want to. How many damage? Deal eight damage to random. Okay, so I don't want to do anything. Let's see. I mean, ah, let's do it. Wait. I do a cast. Okay, I can. Okay. Oh man, okay. I should have checked my cards. Oh no, I can't evoke it. I can do it. Yeah, what are my next cards? Ooh. Please get recursion, please. Okay, there it is. There we go. Nice. My HP is at all below 50%. Okay, it's got a lot of HP. So got the emerald key. Oh yeah, I forgot this was a burning elite. Um, they only appear once you've beaten the run with the main three. And the defect is the third character. Okay. Yeah, it's all about all management for this character. That's not gonna really help me too. Uh, I mean, I can get this later. So campfire and I'll rest. Then have I made my choices? Okay, so I can go and fight another we afterwards. Good. So channel one plasma. Um that's going to do more damage, I think. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I wasn't gonna come up yet again in my deck, so it's a good idea to stay that. Okay, so okay, so plasma is really good. Makes sense. Oh, okay. Yeah, I need that. Okay, nine. Okay, so I defend myself here. Just get a little chip damage on one of them. damage, can I take it? I mean, I don't have much much of a choice, so yeah. Okay, 21. Channels of Plasma. Ok, 
Okay. Oh my... Oh no. Oh my god. I'm barely alive right now. Oh my god. Nice. Do 12 damage. Put the next card you play. Oh, okay. That's a good one. That's a good one. Um, I think, I mean, I really would like to start upgrading these cards. Oh, that would make it free. Um, that would make it free. And that would get one. Uh, I could risk it. Or I heal my health and I risk it the next time. Oh, it's like a villain again. What if I put an exhaust card? It doesn't work. Oh, I wasted it. I tried it. I just need to evoke that. I just need to evoke that. The recursion is all the way down there. Oh. Okay, then. Never mind. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, I think I'm a smith now. X plus one. Gain three orb slots. Okay, 14, 6 damage. Okay. Oh, that makes it. Okay, well, that's just significantly better. Because I can actually use the card now. Without it being a one time thing. I will say Plasma this nice and nice one now. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I can evoke it four times. Yeah. That. And then I evoke it. That gets down a bit. Okay. Game crash, Jesus. Okay. Oh no. Oh no, wait. Wait, I need I need to. Okay, I need to use that potion. Fifty-two. We just wait. Oh no. Okay. Well, I buy that. Might be dead here. I could honestly die to these slimes. 
Oh no, the split. Nice. Okay, this is gonna add three. Okay. Nice. Oh, I just. Oh my god. Oh, we did it. I did it. Gain full focus. Start the time, lose one. Interesting. That will make me stronger. That is also amazing. You know what? I'm gonna get that. Uh, just, mm. Okay, cracked the core. What does it do? Just channel one lightning. Channel one frost. Um. I mean. I mean, these other twos aren't. I'll try this. That could be. Bad decision or good decision? I don't know. I mean, I like this light at the very least. Uh, okay, let's see what elites. How am I gonna plan this map? Okay, so I go here. We get an elite. And I missed a lot of chests. It's not a lot of chests actually, you can only get one. Okay. Hmm. There's another shopkeeper before that. I mean, if I want to start... Okay. If I want to start spending my money, it would be now. Ah. Uh, 10 damage. Okay, it's fine. Can't evoke my Ooh. I mean, it was useful. You know what? I actually think having less is more rather than then at the same time. Hold on. Oh, wait, that's good. Wait, that's good, actually. That's not bad. Because before, it only... Oh, no, lightning. I don't know. Okay. I'm, I did lose a lot of HP, though. Two cards, okay. Mm, I'm gonna skip that one. Designer and Spire. If anything grows business, your customer fine. What do you do? This is an exaggerated sign, points out to all stiff surfaces. Surfaces seem fine, but who would rather punch the smug man in the smug face? This is interesting. Move a card and upgrade. Wait, that's great. Wait. That's great. Okay, wait, am I removing a card? Please tell me I'm removing a card. Okay, okay. Really? I do heal at shops, that's it. Mm. It's good, actually. Interesting. Removal block from the enemy. Deal. Well, that's great. That's amazing. I do need to remove that. Injury. There we go. What's this? One of you breaking enemies. Okay. One pick up gain two potion slots. Oh, sure do. Okay, I will be happy to do that. Um, uh, yeah, you know what I'll buy? I'll buy a bunch. I don't 
don't know why I said it. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, so these guys are just wanting to kill me, no matter what. So I need to make sure I get them first. Is there something else that also heals me? I guess so, yeah. Gain 10 block next turn, gain... Oh, that's good. So, trigger the passive ability of your next... Wait, what if I have a dark? Oh, this is gonna be a bit of a nightmare. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Uh, that's a lot of damage. Uh, that's a lot of damage. Why? Why a lot of damage? It's fine. I can melt the damage off. Take the hit. Take the hit for now. Use it. Nice. Then. I'm really getting me though. Enough of that. Oh, I'm actually screwed. Wait a minute. I'm screwed. Oh, I picked the wrong path. Ah. Uh... Okay, so... Ah. Okay, so I definitely need to do something now. Okay. That's... good, I think. I think that was not the right... not the right choice. Okay, that's good. Probably want some plasma. Oh, oh Jesus, oh Jesus. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to get this. It's just going to go away. No, hang on a minute. That's a lie. Because this... Fine. This card you play each turn is played twice. Oh, interesting. Um, I guess I can. Uh, that would have been. Oh no. Oh no. 
Oh no. I mean, that's good. Oh, I am. I'm weaker now. Did I just ruin it? Because I don't know why. Just... Oh no. Oh man, why? Okay, you know what? I have to drink my focus. Um. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. Wait. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, I think I might have got too many cards. What was the issue? I think I was just trying to do maybe too many different builds. To be fair, I wasn't even know what build I was doing, so that, that's, that's that. Yeah, I'm dead. Well, rip. Oh, man. And now it's time to draw. I am going to just interject at random intervals post-recording to discuss the process of making this digital art piece whilst a variety of dual background music plays. To start off, Know that a good portion of this workflow is taken from David Brevoy's video titled Tutorial, an illustration from A to Z with Critter, which is intended both for beginners to the program and people switching from a different program, such as Crypt Studio Paint. Critter is a free open source art software that provides a lot of options in terms of how you wish to customize the layout and rearrange the buckles to suit your liking. The technique you are seeing me do right now is from the video, which is to first make a reference mood board whilst I make a different canvas file to draw on. The next technique is thumbnails, which are to help with cutting down the time for alterations in terms of line art and the framing of the picture. I got a bit lazy and just did one that I constantly altered to work, but usually 2-4 to four should be enough depending on whether you are satisfied with the pose and framing of a character, such as this gremlin leader from Slater's work. You might notice now that the line art is not a solid line in colour, and really this is just me basing it off the reference, but by having coloured outlines that will fit the interior colours of the design, it's going to help the character pop. Though this is more of an optional stylistic approach, which I occasionally prefer to do. Shading is my weak point, so for now I just tend to replicate the shading from the reference. Though I hope to change that with a practice idea from another artist, which if it helps, I may make a short video on it. Which would be to make a canvas full of differently coloured and shaded balls, to practice with different positions of lighting and shadow styles, and anything else worth practicing for the art fundamentals of lighting and shadows.
I added some extra color depth for the eyes to make it pop a little more. I also go and redo some areas of shading to account for the arm above and in front of the torso of the grandma leader. Then do some shoddy shading for the arm, which I will change later, but not now. The other technique I got from Ravoy's video was increasing the size of a chosen thumbnail that you have coloured in to be the canvas size or close enough to then repaint it. So that it will be at a much higher quality. Reduce the opacity significantly, make a copy of it as a layer specifically for colour picking the colours used in the thumbnail itself to be mostly accurate. The repaint part is easy, but the least interesting component in the process, but it is necessary for there to be higher resolution artwork following the structure of the chosen thumbnail. At least to me, it's boring. While repainting, I sometimes need to switch from the bucket to the brush to alleviate some of the crevices on the outside. I also then decide at this point to replace the awfully simple shading to something much cleaner. Which takes a while to iterate until I have something I am happy to see for the art. I clean up some of the unneeded colour bumps on the outside of the character and fine tune some of the shading and shaping of the gremlin leader by painting over on another layer. I then decide to make a purple outline around the character as my idea is to have the death screen particles surround the character and in a way act as a chaotic yet elegant frame. glow to the eyes, 
and some rough texturing to the deck. I make some wavy patterns based on the combination of the death screen particles from the game and the purple flower reference image next to it as well as changing the colour to be different tints and shades. Play around with using the outline again and recreating it for the art piece. then decide to just copy it flip it horizontally enlarge it and then rotate it to make it a similar opacity to the background particles Do a couple checks before I'm happy with it, and it's done. I also add it in my signature afterwards in a way that fits the out without taking away from the finalized outcome. And that is the end of the video. If you made it this far, thank you. Stick around with this channel if you would like to see my future content, I suppose. Anyways, until the next video, bye bye.